and uh, it is summer of year one and we got six uh, six things to do all right so it's a completed West quest for neighbors I guess that meat one counted or maybe the other one counted so meat 75% there meat 50% here so like I said just make sure it's not in your inventory um, it still sucks that it decays but it's it is what it is right now so we are going to do chapter three good morning neighbors let's see what else we got available Alwyn's story we're gonna go ahead and knock out his and you just wait for further instructions so Alwyn's gonna be our first guy before we do that though we're gonna harvest our onions we're big kids. And, uh, onions are good. I said onions are your XP builders right now because you have to cook the meat and you have to cook the uh, onions to make the food. Uh, the other ones are easier for um, making money because you only have to cook once. So. Uh, once we get set up again, we might run all the way to the other village for cabbage seeds. Because cabbage seeds are good. Alright, new level of farming. We're knocking this out of the park today. Farming knowledge. Bloop. Alright, so we have all the onions. And we're going to destroy. Bloop. Okay, so we are putting the onions in this house, by the way. Alright, so we had 20 seeds and we planted 20. Out of that, we got 42 seeds and we got 167 onions. And that was a little ground of 20, 20 onions. So, we have stuff, it's going. Is this what you're calling the lake? Or is there somewhere else you're calling the lake? Because I know it's flat as, flat as pancake through here. But yeah, that's uh... Feels closer than my house, right here. I think we should just do it just because I've never built there. Okay. Alright, I you call them all lakes? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I was just curious because I uh, wanted to make sure I wasn't misinterpreting what you're saying there. So further this way has better uh, places for gardening, or not gardening, putting stuff. Because we don't have to have everything right on top of each other. We have to have things convenient for us, but we don't have to have our entire town right on top of us. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Alwyn, I'm gonna flirt, um, and then we'll go from there. If we marry the pig lady, will it mess up the quest line? I guess is one of my questions. Well, I mean, it would be nice, I mean, this is nice here because the stuck is just right there. Uh... But having the daub and being even closer to these two towns will save me a lot of time because I'm having to run back and forth all the time. So the closer I am to it, if I'm here, I mean, it's almost roughly the same distance, but it feels like it's even longer from here. So just for that. All right, let's go talk to Alvin real quick. Sorry guys, I'm doing like 90 things in my head. Do 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 do. Does not make for short episodes when I'm debating and thinking. 
I kind of want to move over there just because I've never been over there and it's way out of my comfort zone. Alwyn, come back here. Hey. What's new with you, dude? Your water skin's leaking and you're just frazzled because all kinds of stuff's going on. That's fine. I have to go to Matilda to get a water skin over here in Denica. Okay. So technically we could have waited for the wolves story and done this quest along with the go build the palisades quest together and we would only have to go there one time. So we'll, I think I said that last time we did this too. Alright, J, F, uh. Alright. We're gonna try flirting real quick. Alright, so remember how I said if you're flirting to make sure to save? Gertrude. Oh, you're 15. No way, dude. Uh, 28. Okay. Hey, do you have a minute? Nice weather. Uh, I actually didn't check what you are. Nope. Uh, yes, I know. Wife. Uh, you are a crafter. Oh, this one's a good one. She has uh, lumberjack and crafting potential. Alright, so we definitely wa don't want to mess this one up. Um, we're going to save it again. F5. Hey, do you got a minute? Uh, robes. Nope. Ah, sorry. You guys know what has to happen. <laughs> I figured since she was a crafter and a uh, lumberjack miner at the same time, then we might be able to get away with it, but that's okay. Oh yeah, sorry guys, the loading takes a long, much longer time now than it used to. Alright, got a minute? How have you been? Alright, so she's 70. She technically could join our settlement right now. Uh, F5 to save it. Do you have a minute? I want to ask you about gossip, but I think she's not going to like it. So we might end up resaving again, so just hang on guys. Alright, oh she did like gossip, okay. Do you have a minute? Job's iffy because she's both three and three. Uh, I'm doing a new settlement. Okay, she wants a house first before she moves in, which is more than adequate. Okay, so we might get a decent one right off the bat. Cause she can be our lumberjack or our crafter. And that's what we wanted right off the bat. Okay, so... Did we flirt? We didn't flirt. Sorry, lady. Hey, beautiful lady. Um, flowers. Nice. We did it. We successfully flirted. I think I'll. I think I'll. I'll take my wins and move on. All right. So we. Do we have enough stuff to? We have fifty dynasty points. She asked for a house and didn't give me a number, so we might be able to recruit people right now. Which technology... We don't have a woodshed yet, and we don't have our food storage and resource. We don't have stuff up yet, but that's okay. We got time. We could run for Alwyn's water skin, but I think... No, we'll go ahead and knock out all one stuff. That way it completes the chapter 3 quest anyway, once we help him. Dun dun da dun 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 Uh, journal. Alwyn story F for follow. That we can straight shot over. Now we have a enough gold set aside that when we have to go to um, Hornica later, 
that we have enough gold to pick up our pickaxe. And I know somebody said there's pickaxes in another town, but I can't remember which one it was. Okay, I still have spears. We're good on spears. And we are going to do a little bit of side hunting only because we need hunting uh, XP so we can get our hunting shed up. Sorry, pig. So spring and summer are the only time you can pick berries and they're definitely worth it for the extra money. Um, usually that's all I'm doing, uh, but I'm kind of focusing on quests this time for some reason. And I think we're, we're going to Dinica, right? Okay. Dinica also has cabbage seeds, which is the only crop that can be planted in summer. So we're going to pick some up, up some seeds for sure. Uh, which means we need to pick some berries on the way. So we do have to stop for berries. Yeah, look how flat this is out here. This is Mondo flat out here. It is a little bit too far away from the villagers. Like, longer than the villagers than I would like, though. But that is beautifully, beautifully flat there. Alright, let's pick some, uh, pick some berries. These kind are edible, the green kind are not. Um, I don't recommend eating berries only because they're not very nutritious and they're worth gold. So it's like eating gold. And the nutrition on them is 0.5 values, so you have to eat like a lot of them, like 200 berries to fill up. And that's 200 gold. And yeah, so that's why I said stop, pick berries, grab what you can, and then get actual food once you're able to get food. Yep, sorry, I forgot to grab gold before we left, and we, we need gold to buy the seeds for the cabbages, so pit stop. Alright, don't use a spear, I guess. Spears are still slow. So, hold up. Make sure you're doing a stick up for the berries. Have one more patch and then we'll be on our merry little way. Another survival level? Sweet, that should be three of three in survival. Oh, we already have three of three in survival. Which means we get survival sense now. Boop. Now when we hold down alt, we can see where all the uh all the herbs are too. Look at that. Actually, some of them are really tight. Alright, stay focused, though. Yeah, three of three in the knowledge branches for your skills is, is vital to progressing fastly and getting more skills. Almost there, guys. Almost. Okay. Oh, darn it. More. Why are there always more berries? Alright. And away we go again. Switching back to spears. And chug some coffee.
This really is a lovely spot. Mm. Yes, that was me taking a screenshot. Do, 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 do. More pigs. Man, pigs are out. Three pigs. Four pigs. Guys, we have to do this. It's a thing that has to happen. Alright. You gotta watch them, because they'll run you right over. Pew! Uh, there was another one over here. I just don't see it right now. It'll probably try to mush me once we're in here doing this. We have to get the meat to make some more meat with gravy. And we also have to do this so we can unlock the Hunter's Lodge. I hear you. He's gonna hit me. No! <coughs> And as you can see, I'm at half health. So we're gonna hit F5. And we're gonna eat some stuff we don't have. So, uh, alt. And we're gonna pick up some of these. They're actually really hard to see. They're broadleaves. Uh, they have like little purplish stems. But they, uh, they blend in very, very well. So we're gonna fill up on our health. Hit F5. I know there was another pig here. I saw you, pig. I just don't know where you are now. Oh, you're right there. Alright, well that was a lot of pigs. I'm both happy about that and slightly worried about my health now. My safety too many wild boars rambling. Okay, so let's go talk to Matilda. Hi, Matilda. Oh, that don't look good. A rope and a... Anyway, anyway, uh, hi. We don't care about glitches. Thank you. Oh. Deliver leather to you? No problem, because I just killed like five pigs. Sweet. Winning by accident. That's the way to do it. Oh, uh, who's a seller? Matilda's probably a seller. Matilda, hey, show me your wares. I'm gonna sell all but like 25 of these, maybe? There we go. Bye. Uh, we're gonna go talk to this dude. Hey! Can I help you with something? You want me to craft your tool? I can do that. If you want a... Iron anything, I'm gonna punch you in the face, though. Okay. Cool, we can do this. Here, you can have my stone axe. 50 rep. More rep. 15 rep. All the reps. Very nice. We got extra rep because we finished our chapter quest. I was just, that was the kind of a joke. New X gave us 15 dynasty and 15 crafting. All right, so let's take this foxes and boars. We just murdered like a, a whole slew of boars. Um, we're moving our place of work. Let me look over here. Is there any more boars over here? Not at the moment. We have to make another axe though, so give me one second to gather up some rocks. Here, rock, rock, rocks. Here's a rock, so maybe the rocks around the rock. Yep, there they are. 
uh, Q. Uh, more sticks. Always more sticks. I kind of want to keep my head up because there's usually pigs through here too, so. Just trying not to get murdered, guys. Especially by pigs. So, back at our old spot, there are plenty of foxes and pigs. So, we're going to head back over there. We're going to turn in Alwyn's um, quest, journal, Alwyn's story. Alright, let's go get him his stuff. There's deer, but deer aren't on our, aren't, our, aren't, aren't on our agenda. Hi, Josh. Nice. Yeah, Frostpunk's pretty sweet. Um, I told you I face planted in that like a lot before I figured stuff out. No regrets playing that game though. It was it was pretty fun. So I know how difficult completing the first campaign is. <laughs> Me and uh, Chumley here decided to re-roll again on uh, the game. So we're, I'm in year one summer right now. So we're going to try with the lower, uh, lower skilled workers. See how that works. Hopefully, I mean, I know it's going to be a lot more brutal than having my really good workers. But uh, we're going to see if it's still nice and playable. So far, I haven't noticed anything because I have I don't have any workers. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. Oh, how far are we from that village? Nope. All right, let's just go. Let's go. Today we're gonna do the quest, and then hopefully tomorrow we have enough time to build. I know a lot of people actually build here because look how flat that is. It's an insane amount of flat right there. It's right next to the waterfall. That's so nice. And that's right here. Uh, I don't think there's any clay deposits right on top of this though. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, this is super flat. You could build a huge village here. But I'm talking like year 20 or something like that. Don't think you need it for year, year 1. This is decently flat through here too. Man, it's right by that island in the uh, lake right here. So basically anywhere in here and you'd be set for a population of about two, maybe three hundred. Got berries, no clay pits though. Are those clay pits back here? It's not there. Mm, nope, those aren't clay pits, just bare ground. That is nice. You got flatness. Tons of flatness. Yes, we're gonna pick more berries because we need we still need crap tons of money. Uh crud monkeys. We forgot to grab uh seeds from that village. Man. Alright, we're gonna deliver Alwyn stuff. I'm trying to make it where the last day of the season we have enough time to do what we want to do. Versus what uh, the quest line's trying to push us to do. Lots of reeds right there. Very nice. Tons 
tons of flat land right here. Kind of looking for pigs, maybe to work on this quest with, but... Well, I know I didn't sheathe the knife, so if you start uh, running... No, it doesn't auto-sheathe it, so... I was thinking it was auto-sheathing for a minute. Yeah, even if worst comes to worst, and I didn't move my village at all, this is all flat enough to put houses on. Houses and businesses would just stretch it out like a long thing instead of a short. Do 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 do. Crap tons of berries again. Um, yeah, if anybody has questions or anything about the game, uh, if you don't if you don't have it and you're thinking about buying it, but you have some questions and concerns, uh, don't hesitate to voice them. If you guys are playing and, and need a couple hints, where do I get logs? You build a axe with. Uh... <laughs> I know Josh. I know you're teasing. Maybe somebody has a question. Nobody knows. You build an axe with uh, two sticks and ten, uh, ten sticks and two stones, and then you cut down a tree, and then you cut down the cut down tree. Okay, yeah, I think we can. I think we could be okay building here. I'll look. Okay, our bigger, bigger buildings can fit over there. I know I said I was going to move over there, but I still don't think I want to. <laughs> Even though it is closer to the village, technically. It's closer to both villages, technically. God, I just need to move there and just... I need to stop. It's going to bother me. Hi, can I help you with something? You want me to cut down some trees? I can actually do that. No problem. Show me yours. Crap, tons of berries. I gotta find Alwyn real quick. He's somewhere. He might still be out near the fields. Yeah, he's out in the field still. Do 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 do. Where the heck are you, dude? Why don't we chase you all around? Not cool, bro. Oh, you're in the tavern. How's that for wasted running? Good job. Alright, so we're back where we started. Where the heck is he? 16. Oh, he's right there. Jeez. <laughs> Stop hiding, dude. Okay. 20 onion seeds in summer. Thank you. That's super helpful. Ooh, new level in diplomacy, guys. Which we're going to put into, of course, these. We're doing three and three of all of these because we're not missing out on how much freaking XP we had. I 
and we're out of water and health is draining. Ugh, survival is so hard. No, not really, guys, not really. Just have to pay attention better than I do. <sighs> All right. Well, we did it. We made it to the next day at the journal. Unigo says wait. This guy says wait till next day. He gave us even more onion seeds even though we've already planted onions and harvested them. And there's not a way to get his quest earlier because he said don't talk to him till summer. Which makes onions useless until next season. So, yeah. So my recommendation is still to buy 20 onion seeds. We should have bought cabbage seeds, but we did not. Hi, rabbit. Oop. And we're gonna queue other rabbit trap. We need more sticks. Sticks, there we go. Alright, so it's just now summer and we're sitting at uh, over a thousand gold. 1300 gold just because we pick berries. Meat. Just make sure it's not in your inventory. Make sure it's in the box. A box. Any box for food. Anything that doesn't decay, it's fine to keep out of the box still. Um, but if it decays, make sure you don't leave it in your inventory or on the floor because it'll be gone if it's in the floor. So we don't have, we're doing pretty good on meat actually. Pretty good. We need to convert it into onion stuff, but I don't want to do that until we have uh, our other things situated. I really don't want to move just because I'm one of those people that once I get comfortable I don't like moving. Okay, so we have 35, so how many logs do we have to have X not to have 35? We'll do 10 a piece, how about that? Well, we need to move it. We can actually move them. Okay, there we go. So all the logs are down. And where'd the other log go? Oh well, I won't, I won't worry about that right now. We'll uh, we'll look at that later. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Just so we can progress Alwyn's story. I think we can pick up a couple more logs actually. How many logs should we have? Ten, ten. I thought we had another six logs. That's okay. I forget we're not supposed to try to drop all of them at once. I think we only drop a little bit at once. So we're gonna do twelve. And then another twelve. And there's six. So we're gonna pick up the rocks and the sticks. And go talk to Alwyn real quick. See how much rocks and six do we have? Five and 
Here we go. That is so difficult for me to try something new. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just leave it here. It's fine. We'll grab the logs real quick though. Still don't know what I think we the other ones got disappeared. So those logs are gone, unless they're off way somewhere far. I once threw cabbages and they went a ridiculous amount of way. Oh, here's the logs right there. Doop. Alright, build, storage. We can do resource and food storage right now. I think our, our quest also calls for us, uh, I'm gonna laugh real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and have this like this, like we're actually gonna build it out here. Too close to the village. I'm changing it up a little bit, see? I, I moved where my stuff is. Usually I build it in this nice open spot over here. We're gonna, um... Oh, that was a bad idea. X4. <laughs> we might put the newbie in that house instead. They're closer to the hunting lodge and stuff. We are going to move a little bit closer here so we're not running all the way from across the bridge to the house to this. This might be a little closer. See? I changed something at least this time. Storage. Resource storage. Um, line this up. Do 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 do. Hmm. All right, now I got to line it up this way then. I just wasted resources. That's okay. That's what. That's why we're doing this. Uh, destroy. Boop. There's the 
there's nothing in the chest. I can't reduce the chest to reduce this. Well, that might be the place, place where we put both of those first then. And then we'll put our house, like, right here. Small house. Line it up. Swan, D swan. Horrible mistakes. Mistakes were made. You know how I feel about this. All has to be uh, good stuff, not trash. Make sure you're making your stuff stone and not waddle. Oops, sorry. Wall, stone, there we go. Under stone. Uh, door, stone. This one I think is good. Yes, okay. We're gonna do food storage first. Let's go get those rocks and this other stuff. the ground. Okay, sticks. 
think that was all of our extra. It's mostly the extra stuff we had on the ground. Okay. Yeah, this is a whole new place up here. We never. We built a pigsty in one house up here last time. But moving just a little bit closer to the. to the villages might prove beneficial. Um, I don't think we have. There we go. We can build a wooden hammer. We do need to cut down one tree in case we need a uh, another hammer. And I was building based on how close things were to a warehouse. That way I thought it would uh, make things a little bit faster. That's not the case. And that's okay if that's not the case, but that's not the case. And we're out of food, so let's go get some food real quick. Oh well, we're losing health pretty good. Alright, um... I'm gonna go ahead and scarf down the rest of this dried meat. We're then going to grab this roasted meat and four onions. And we're going to make some meat with gravy. It's all done, so we're going to go ahead and eat some of this. The, uh, the condition doesn't affect its nutrients, so even if it's like 1%, you'll still get 20 nutrients out of it. Fox is one of the things we have. Oh, I didn't actually mean to throw that. It looks like it broke on contact anyway. Fox is one of the things we have to hunt soon. Let's go in and talk to Alwyn real quick. And then we'll come out here and finish our building journey. Unighost is waiting. And then we got hunting lodge and stuff to build. So we'll get this stuff up. We'll get the hunting lodge up and then uh, the house up. Food storage up. So I don't think there's a quest for food storage, and I don't think there's a quest for uh, regular storage either. Hunting lodge, barn, 
both of those I know have quests. Yes, it's so horrible. Just need to talk to Alwyn. Hey, dude. Your hose broke now. Jeez, man. Fill bar. Oh, he's just across the way. This is easy. We do need to stop and make sure to get some uh, of these. Jeez, there's so many of them here. Let's get healed up. Saved. Got a couple more for posterity. These don't grow in winter, so make sure you have a little bit of a stash. Alright, there we go. Oh, you have the missing owl one bug? Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I was really hoping they fixed that. Did you already try reloading? Like, quick save and then uh, F5, F9? Reload and see if he pops back up somehow. Sick of suck having to restart again. Okay, so you did that and it said no go. Crud monkeys. He's not worth dynasty points, so you won't lose dynasty points, but it is kind of nice to to finish that quest. I, I like that quest. Plus, it's good for um, diplomacy points and stuff like stuff like that, too. Are you going to just re say, screw it and restart it, or are you just going to continue? I mean, neither is a really great option, but... Hi, Inga. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna save that progress. She's usually my wife. Inga's awesome. Uh, somebody said the pig lady. Um, or Chumley said the pig lady in Valencia has tens and fives. Has one ten and some fives. Um, she, I think she only has fours and threes besides her ten. You restarting? Okay. Ah, uh, that sucks. At least that, I think that's what the yes was for that one. I looked away for a minute. We got Alwyn his hoe real quick. We are building significantly closer than we normally build. Oh crap, and we still have to chop down trees for the lady. I forgot, so we'll do that in just a minute. We're going to get Alwyn taken care of first. You think the stats have changed since the last patch? Well, we'll check. We'll check some villages because you know me and stats, man. Where are you? Oh, you see him pop out of the ground like a mole rat? That's scary. Oh.
Yeah, that's true. I mean, we don't even know if um, Inga's going to have tin and husbandry again. Animal uh, breeding. So, Alan's on wait till next season, so we got tomorrow free. However, we did guarantee to cut down ten trees. So we're going to go do that real quick. Not that we weren't going to have to do that anyway. Yeah, I'm already looking forward to Smithy 1 just so we can get our axe back. This is brutality. I've already saved up enough coin to be able to do that too. We're going to keep chopping down trees until we complete this quest. And then we're going to run... Well, no, because I don't have enough meat to be able to justify having cabbage. Because cabbage is going to decay really quick. And also, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not right. Cabbage is not a time for right now. Meat with gravy is good. Okay, so we got the trees down we needed to get down. Okay. Got the branches from all these. Oh, he's up in the tree, oh, up in the roof. Apparently you're not the only one that's had that problem with him. Huh. Basic building, it looks like they reduced the stamina for building too. Usually I could get one wall done and then I was huffing so hard I couldn't do anything else. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if you're building the palisades and he needs his water skin, you can go at the same time. To the same city. At least you won't waste time like I did going to the same city twice. Logs, 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 logs. Okay, and then thatch. Broken. It's okay. I got plenty of logs to choose from now.
Hey, Ronan. Yep. Everything's going pretty good. Everything's going pretty good. We went ahead and uh, restarted because the stats were way different and some of the gameplay was different. So we're on our third round on restarts for Alpha 0 0.1.1.5. And I guess rating and Twitch is good. <laughs> Thank you for bringing a party of six. Hi, guys. Normally when people are getting raided, that's a bad thing, I guess. It's a good thing in Twitch. But yeah, everything's going pretty pretty good. We'll, uh... Oh, nice! You are too? Very nice. But you just wanted to move? Yeah, with the new rottage, or spoiling system, and the lower stats starting, I felt it was kind of unfair that I had started with sixes. Uh... And so my gameplay experience was different than somebody that would have come in and started with fours. So, nice. Yeah, it's like uh, Chumley also restarted. Um, so, so we're testing it out and making sure everything's still really balanced and stuff. But yeah, good to see you, man. I actually didn't plan on streaming this weekend, but I got all my... Visiting my family and uh, all my other stuff done, so I was like, treat myself and play a game I like, right? Yeah, we're just, uh, just restart. Oh, another survival. Definite tip get your knowledge before you get anything else. And then after that, you can move on. Just get that. Or else you'll be, uh, you'll be regretting it a little bit. Alright. I like the slower food and water drain for me, personally. And then we're gonna dunk everything into athlete. Because I like to run long distances. I'm, I'm really a merchant at heart. I farm, I make food, and I go sell my wares. Have you played since they uh, patched the farmers? Because the farmers now work. Like, they work work. That's uh, really nice. Yeah, I, uh, I try to throw tips in there every once in a while. Uh, we, haven't got even, we haven't got our first person yet. Because um, I'm still building to set up. Because, you know, you have your house. And then you have to have your food storage in resource storage built before you can grab anybody. That way your village is pretty much set. Sogensa? Sogensa? Sojsan? How, how do you pronounce that? Help me out here. I'm from Oklahoma. We can't pronounce anything. At least not properly. Nice. Nice of you to hop on and and come with them to see what we're all about. Basically, we like sharing information and just hanging out and gaming in games we like. So, nothing too crazy, nothing too flashy. Just kind of like a chill. Chill kind of thing. But uh, if anybody has questions or anything about the game thinking about purchasing it or never seen it before and I want to ask questions uh, me and some of the other guys in here know a little bit and we're happy to share info okay there we go uh, we need mostly logs okay Foxes. Foxes don't attack you unless you attack them first, so you're good. They do a little gecking thing. Talk to you.
Right now we're trying to get our food storage up because spoilage is a real thing now in the game and the food spoilage slows it down by a significant amount. Nice, woodshed's open. Very nice. So basically everything I have to start a basic village I now have open. Because uh, we have a hunting... I think we're good on hunting lodge. Let me open this. And more knowledge. Knowledge for every single one. Fill that up with three of three. It's like some of them, literally you get three times XP if this is filled up. And that you want that so you can get to the good stuff faster. So definitely, definitely Duncan knowledge. Uh, technology woodshed. All right. Uh, Hunter's Lodge. We're almost there. We have to kill a couple more things and we'll have Hunter's Lodge open. So as soon as those two are open, I'll go recruit people. It's not time yet. Okay, what other mats do I have? I have sticks and I have straw, so we can add some things over here. I uh, it, I know it's dark, but I like to work through the night when I can. Because um, the first year, you definitely feel like you don't have enough uh, enough time. But trust me, by like year five, you, you're like going to bed as soon as you can. You're like, okay, we've done everything we can do. Okay, good deal. Let me go grab, grab another log so I can make another building hammer. Yeah, welcome. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions. Uh, we like to answer them, and if you have any ideas and stuff, we we like to hear them too. Discuss them. I don't know how many of you guys are playing, and uh, how many aren't, but it's, it's pretty nifty. I like it a lot. The reason we're stopping to pick berries at midnight is because berries are money. Um, in springtime, you can't eat them. Sigo san? Sogi san. Sogi san. Okay. Sogi san. Okay. I might have that. I'm atrocious at names in real life, too. I mean, I was lucky. Being in the army, we actually had our names on our, on our chest, so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> uh, I still mispronounced most of them, though. Nice. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Doop. 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 Uh, inside. Alright, food storage is complete now. So we can move our food out of our house. Throw it in here so it won't decay as fast. The only thing we have to watch is the uh the people will eat things alphabetically still, so. And we only have so much storage total. Alright, so here's the perishables. Oh, gotta do this too. Collect the rabbit trap. There we go. Yeah, just hanging out. Oh man, it's already 1.30. This game, this game always slips away from me. Alright, we're not going to have much room. We have to make sure we have enough room in here that, uh...
that the gatherers have room to put stuff in. As soon as it gets full, they won't put stuff in here anymore. They'll fill up like the uh, the hunter lodge. They'll fill that up, and then um, we'll have to manually move everything over once we get this cleaned out again. But for right now, we uh, this is where this needs to be because the decay rate is much much slower in here, and we need every second we can get. Okay, if we're gonna turn that back off. Alright, so what all do we have? We have... We have berries, but we don't have people, so I think we'll be okay putting berries in here for right now. We got more sticks. Let's see if there's any more sticks to be had in here. Log, 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 log. Straw. Sticks. Okay. So mostly logs and a little bit of straw. But anybody that hasn't been in this game before, uh, the graphics are very, very lovely. Um, high quality graphics. So it's pretty immersive. I mean, for me, it's pretty immersive. Um, just you know, sometimes I bebop through and, and look at stuff. Get some water. Water and food. Log. Alright, there we go. Straw. Alright, so everything else in there is all logs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this, sticks, throw it on the ground, throw it on the ground, there we go. Cut down trees earlier for a different quest, uh, which I'm grateful we did now because we have more logs. Yeah, we're only in summer of year one. Um, that's why we have just a really tiny, tiny village right now. Is uh, basically we restarted a couple hours ago and this is not a very very fast game it's a nice slow and steady game I think being a merchant will be a lot easier merchants what I chose to be if you want to you could just run around and hunt all day or uh, mine all day or so on and so forth. There's other, there's other things to do besides just um, just what I do. I just I like what I like I guess. It's a good way to put it. I like what I like. More logs. And then this was more logs and more rocks. Rocks are easier to spot during the daytime, so we're not even going to bother with rocks right now. Uh, I probably need to save up enough sticks and logs to do another uh, axe. And one more hammer.
This would be easier if I didn't sprint everywhere, but I like to get places fast, so I sprint. Because your stamina is used on a lot of different things in this game. Um, there are perks later. That's what I'm saying, to make sure you have 3 of 3 in the knowledge for skills. Because there are skills later that you can get that drastically cut down on stamina use and stuff like that. Um, and then getting better tools. So instead of having to chop this down five times to get it to chop, you could only have to do it three times if you had an iron tool. But we don't have a smithy up yet, so... Or rather, we don't have a smithy unlocked yet. We're not, uh... We're not quite there yet. We are broken along pretty good, though. Alright, we should have enough to make the thing. There we go. Oh, not that one. I wanted to make the, uh... So, Q. Crafting. Oh, we don't have... Oh, that's brutal. Okay, so we have to find some rocks real quick in the dark. No problem. Rock. Alright, sorry, I gotta break the torch out for this. As much as I hate using the torch. I usually only use the torch for, um, for wolves. So I definitely don't like it when I pull the torch out and it breaks in two seconds. You're like, oh god. Need a couple more rocks. Probably missing some, but that's okay. They have little rock outcroppings also that make it easier to find rocks near them. Okay, so like here, F. Supposedly there's supposed to be rock spawns around them. There's one rock. There we go. Uh, Alright, so now all I need is branches. Alright, there we go. Yes, it is only first person for right now. Um, they said that they're thinking about doing third person for later, but it's not a priority. So, and there's no character customization because they plant, like, you can't customize your air. So they decided not to do any character customization um, at all. Um, because, like I said, in, in, what, 18 years of gameplay, you won't get to have what you picked anyway. So that was their reasoning in the, uh, the broadcast and stuff. Alright, we, we cut down like two trees and then... Oh, there it is. Okay, that was that one. It's only first person and you start out as a guy named uh, Rasimir. And I could be butchering that name. But, uh... Yeah, so... It's got its storyline quest in. It does have a bunch of side quests and stuff. Um, it is like a city builder because you assign people to go do things. Um, which which is pretty nifty. And let's see. There's management tabs. I don't have anything built so and I don't have people so I can't really show you. But you can assign workers here. Uh, food storage and resource storage. Their workers don't don't work right now, like they don't work. Uh, but if you had a barn and you wanted somebody to go plow fields and do all the things, you could assign a field worker. Or if you had a pigsty and you wanted somebody to collect manure and feed the pigs, uh, you know that happens. Um, like I'm getting a hunting cabin so I can have meat and leather coming in, 
And I'm also getting a woodshed so I can have firewood and wood for building coming in. So it's pretty much like a like top down. Um, pretty close to banished for the top down. Uh, the management on resources needs a little tiny bit more fine tuning in my humble opinion. Um, where we can say no we don't want any more of that resource. Because uh, some of the buildings have up to three resources that they bring you. So, but they're, they're not there yet. Like I said, this still is alpha and their roadmap. Alright, storage is done. Sweet. So you need your food storage and your resource storage before you start recruiting people. So as of right now, as soon as I get some houses built, I can start recruiting people if I want. I should be able to recruit two people, I think. Because as far as I've noticed, your recruitment management, sorry, is based on half of your building limit. But we'll see for sure, because I might try to recruit four people right off the bat. Alright. Uh, so we're playing the rock hunting game real quick. I'm really picky about my houses. Um, you can actually make it out of sticks. Uh, I like building mine out of stone, uh, because it's easier on your wood production stuff later, like your consumption. And it actually makes your people happy. So, um, even the smallest houses I build out of stone. Which sometimes takes me a little while because I actually have to pick up the rocks. At least right now, because I, I, I don't have people to do it for me. Let's get some water. Uh, we need to eat. Because if you don't eat and you don't drink water, you will die. Oh, I think I have my food in here, don't I? Food. Trying to figure if there's a respawn, because if there's a respawn, I can look in the same spots I was looking for rocks, but if the respawn doesn't happen very fast, then I might need to go elsewhere to grab some rocks. knowledge. Like I said, three of three in the knowledges, guys. Because you don't want to miss out on XP because you wanted to grab something early. Probably going to repeat that like 12 times because that was a mistake in my first two games. Doop, doop, doop. Sorry, I'm just looking for rocks right now. Sometimes I'd pick up more stuff, but most of the time I'm pretty focused on what I'm looking for. Because everything has weight and you don't want to play the weight game very much. You don't have to. Uh, you eventually can get a pickaxe and uh, some of the rock is mineable. And that's a much faster way to get the rock. Uh, but I usually don't spend my pickaxe on 
rocks. I usually get an es excavation shed and it mines out rocks and salt and limestone or later on you can put a mine up and you'll have more more rock and stuff than you know what to do with. It's just a very large amount very quickly. Okay, we need some more rocks. All the rocks. So, and all the rocks you pick up by hand is just one rock. I like the big clusters of rocks better than I like the onesies and twosies. I think everybody does though. Doop doop. Alright, we're gonna run back. Put this in the wall. Alright, let me double check all my uh, quests to make sure I'm not behind on anything. Next season for Alwyn, wait for further events on that one, and then the other ones build a hunting lodge. Which is something we will absolutely do soon. There we go. Here we go, here's some rocks. Yes, there are bigger rocks. There's not the just the teeny tiny ones. They're much easier to see like those right there. Well, let's get some water. starting to get overweight so we're gonna go ahead and book it back put these rocks in the wall the streams and river are the best place to actually kind of look for rocks uh, but you'll find some in the thickets as well but springtime is more of a difficult time to actually find rocks winter time is super easy to find them they're all over the place. Alright, I think we'll have enough rocks to finish out this. It's all gonna be logs after this, I think. Crud. Need a couple more rocks. Ten more rocks. Yeah, like I said, you guys could have already had the building up if you'd have used wattle, but it's not, you have to, I mean, you don't have to, but it's more pertinent to build it in stone, like I said, just for happiness and for wood consumption later, because once you have like 20 people eating so much wood, it's gonna freaking deplete your resources. I uh, build. Sorry. Rabbit. I'll build another rabbit trap. Okay. Rabbit traps give you uh, meat and leather, and you'll need some of that for building later as well. You go straight up this creek for some rocks, but I'm pretty sure there's some rocks over here too.
we only needed 10 to finish that building. Oh, it's making me a little nauseous swirling around like this. Doo -doo. Uh, for those people that do get motion sickness, they are working on different things to help with the motion sickness. Like, you can turn off head bob and, and a bunch of other stuff you should couldn't have turned off when the game first started. Um, so they are trying to accommodate people. And they are taking suggestions and feedbacks and actually, uh, actually listening to them and stuff like that, so... That's good. Rot's not a horrible... Let's see, look, we already got another rabbit, guys. Alright, there we go. Let's get this up here, uh, and then we'll go ahead and finish the Chapter 4 quest. About three foxes and three boars. Oh, yeah. We need logs for this house. It's okay. Alright, so we got all the rocks in. That's good. Oh, and another rock. And we have storage here now. Um, Broadleaf. Feathers. Leather. Rock. Sticks. Money. Extra hammer. All right, let me go get stuff out of my house real quick. Mm, excuse me. Yes, I'm moving everything over there. I, uh... I like everything in the central location. So the first one, first storage is 300, the second one is 600, and the third one is 1000. So you do get a lot more storage later. Uh, it's just not all up front, and it's not not infinite storage. However, when you build, as of right now, when you build a warehouse, the this adds up to all the, all the warehouses, and all the items are interchangeable. So you can have a warehouse up here or over here, and all of them are connected. So you can always get your stuff. Uh, the same thing with the food warehouse. You can always get your stuff. Throw some more meat in there. I'll need to cook this pretty soon. Alright. Uh, food. Whoops, food. Let's take her food first. I'm, uh... I'd rather not starve, so... I'm gonna grab some of this and... Say four. And... Fifteen. As soon as that house is done, we'll probably move into that house and put the extra worker here, but this is usually my house. Or I might keep my house, I don't know yet. Alright, so light the campfire, and then we're going to cook the meat. So as long as you have a torch, you can light your campfires, whether it's one you build outside or one that's inside your house. And that's always how you cook meat. Um, if you're way far away from home and it's not the last day of the season, you can build a campfire uh, outside and sleep. Use it to sleep for the next day. Or you can, if it's the last day of the season, you can use it to sleep and TP back home. Because you're always back home, fully rested, fed, clean, uh, at the first of every season. Mm. 
All right, so the meat's cooked. Nice, so we got the sewing building unlocked. This is why we cook, because uh, it's your crafting skill as well. Um, R for multiple, E for all, F for cook. So we're cooking some meat with gravy. And give me one second, I'll be right back. And even with a small cooking thing, uh, when I'm cooking, I usually go take my breaks real quick. So I can get up and stretch or grab something to drink. Or hit the train if I have to. Alright. You can see our health is diminishing because we don't have food. We're not eat we're empty on our food. So we're gonna go ahead and eat. And we are gonna take a bath because we're our dirt meters up a little bit. Uh like usually I would keep my food in here, but we, we can't do that anymore because it decays too rapidly. So now we have to keep our food in the food storage. Uh or it's just gonna be gone in two or three seasons. It turns into rot, and you can use tin rot to make fertilizer. Right now I'm purchasing fertilizer um, to make fields, but because we actually have uh, onions and stuff like that, I decided not to, not to do that. Um, usually I have like 100, 100 to 200 onions, and I have like 600 cabbages. And I'll toss them on the floor along with the meat and stuff, and then I'll I'll cook it over time, uh, as I have time, and that that changed as of uh, yesterday. So we got decay going on and other stuff like that. So it's gonna be interesting, I think, trying to keep up with everything. But okay, so we've got this. We need logs to finish this house, and we also need to get the hunting lodge up. So we're going to go ahead and chop some more stuff. Our woodshed is also ready to be built. Uh, but we'll go, we're going to go ahead and follow the chapter quest to get those done. Oh, wait. It's daylight, so let's go ahead and hunt the foxes and the boars real quick. Because that'll be easier. We can build all through the night. The building at night doesn't bother me. Um, right now, there's not a actual fatigue system like if you don't sleep for like s all through the seasons but I like to be on top of things just in case all right and there we go logs 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 Q build R I want the uh, four spears there we go Now, when spring comes around next year, I'm going to have enough money and enough fields to be able to plant flax, just so I can make sure I have a bow. And I will have uh, bought my pickaxe and mined as much as I can carry. Alright. I'm not sure how fast pigs are respawning, but they're respawning. Oh, there's one right there. I just got to watch out because there's always freaking more than one. Uh, headshots, you only have to use one spear. Uh, however, if you uh, 
or like hitting them from the back, you can't hit the head. So we have to kill three of these, and we have to kill three foxes. Okay. And then we gotta build the hunting lodge. So we should be able to keep up pretty good. Uh, how's my health? My health is good. I'm gonna look for herbs. So these little flat herbs over here are broad leaves. And they're not very distinctive, like they're really hard to see in regular foliage. But this is your basic your bandages. They're worth 10 HP a piece. We're gonna go ahead and heal up real quick. F5 to save. Okay, I don't see no more pigs here. So we're gonna move over a little bit to uh, see if we can see some foxes. Foxes are kind of loud because they get, um, they'll make a noise. Let's get some water over here. They like to get, so there's a deer up there, a couple deer. And well, it's thick vegetation, even though they're, you know, red with the coat, sometimes they're hard to see. Another deer. Uh, that spot over there is actually really good for wolves. Uh, there's wolves right here. So I, I try to avoid that. So we're going to mo move up a little further. And see if we can run into the foxes. I know the foxes are down that way and up here as well. And they've actually been really close to my house now. These are clay pits. Um, the clay is for uh, upgrading your house. Um, so you make it stone and then you can put daub on it. I mean, you can make it wattle and put daub on it too. So there's a fox right there. Two foxes. Alright. Sorry, fox. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Horrible shot. It's okay. That's why we, uh... Sorry. They make horrible sounds when they die, so I always feel guilty killing these things. It's necessary, okay? So hunting lodge is now unlocked, which is awesome. So... I think we had woodshed unlocked as well. Okay, so woodshed's unlocked, and hunting lodge is unlocked. We've already got our food storage and our resource storage built, and so we're basically ready to start recruiting people to come in and um, and help automate our village. Because the first two people you want are a hunter and somebody to cut wood which is uh, skills, which are these two icons, the pickaxe and the, the bow. I really want to stop and harvest these, but I'm trying to focus on the quest. Dun -dun. So there was enough foxes there for us to complete the quest, but we kind of... Fudged it a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, I like this game a lot. It's, uh... I have even more hours on it. I've been streaming another nine hours since I put up how many hours I had. Deer. Deer aren't as bad as they used to be. Oh. Used to run around like they were on crack. Much, much faster. Oh, a gecker. Oops, sorry. Yeah, they won't attack you unless you hit them first. <sighs> huh. 
However, uh, bison are mostly friendly until you get up to them. Or wison, sorry. They're not called bison here. Culturally appropriate stuff. They're called wison. They're fine unless you get too close to them and then they'll stomp your face in. So don't do that. And I'm gonna slow down my hunting a little bit. If I wasn't in such a rush, we could have just easily made all those shots, but I feel like I'm in a rush because of daylight. Yeah, some of these places are like really just nice and gorgeous. water going. If you get too far off the map, um, I don't think we're anywhere near it, but if you get too far off the map, it will push you, like if I was over here, it would tell me that I'm leaving the valley. Hi rooster. How's your morning slash evening? Doing good here. You're giving me a whiplash though. <laughs> yeah, it's still, uh. Yeah. Said it. Morning's when I have my first cup of coffee, and I haven't put my coffee down yet, so. Alright, so we're going to book it back towards the house. Oh, fox. Okay. You can uh, use left control to crouch to scooch a little closer so they don't get spooked. Jeez, man. Now they're mad, so they'll come at you. It should not take three spears to take this out. <laughs> yeah, it's 217 here. This is why we make so many wooden spears, guys, because we just don't want to be without. Speaking of, we're going to make uh, another one. Okay. We need one more fox and two more boars. I was so focused on building, I, I forgot that we had a hunting quest to do. That's more deer down there. Yes, I did restart again. Because uh, you were talking about how the, the workers had such low stats and stuff again. Um, and then the rotted, rotting thing happened yesterday too, so I kind of wanted to hop in and see how the balance was. And plus I finished the Unigos quest again, so I, that's my second time. That one was to year 10, and the one before that was to year 11. I can hear you. I can't hit these moon, by the way. So yeah, we're in year one in summer right now. So two foxes and two uh, boars left. Yeah, I don't know why the fox was down there earlier towards my home. They're usually not down there. Yeah, that's a fox. I thought so. Jeez. Alright. 
We're gonna use the axe because we don't have nothing. Sorry, Fox. I feel bad. Oh, um, if it says out of nowhere you fail, it means you know go. He was old and he died. That's not as not it's not as how the devs intended it. So they're trying to do, to do different stuff to mitigate that. So if you restart your game, he's supposed to come back alive. But uh, some people said that did not work for them. Alright, so we need one more boar and we're done with this hunting quest besides building the lodge. Each of these, uh... <laughs> you're like, you're like, you made me wait this many years and then you don't even finish my quest. Yeah, it's your 10, he'll kick over another one. And I'm thinking year 15 is the other one after that one. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure about the very last one. I haven't done that. Usually there's enough alpha changes to mitigate a restart or to prompt a restart. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to bed here. Yeah. Yeah, 10 is the militia one. And then, like I said, there's one I haven't done yet. Because uh, everything has been been crazy. Alright, we don't want that. We want the knife. So if you use the spear, it's just as slow as having no tool. But if you have the, um, the knife, it goes speedily along again. Alright, well, nothing's respawned yet. I don't see any more boars at the moment. Respawn on the animals have been a lot faster, by the way, guys. There's a rabbit. Just want to go down here. Uh, it's a change of the season, so it's summer right now and it's about to be fall. Don't have food in your inventory. It cuts 50% of the durability out if it's in your inventory. Okay, there we go. But only on perishables. Regular items you don't have to worry about. Uh, how many times am I going to restart? Um, honestly, that depends on how many big, huge changes we're going to have in the game. Because if I'm doing tips and tricks and stuff like that, I need to be current on what, on what stuff's going. And usually when I hit 10,000 dynasty points it's mostly over for me because I have like six children by then like the highest pop I have right now is 20 uh, 20 people and seven of those are children um, so it's, I would literally have to play another three weeks real life to get them where they needed to be like for the next rotation of, of uh, people which isn't a bad thing. That's not a bad thing for finishing a game, but too much of the stuff has been uh, bigger changes like lower starting stats for your people, foods rotting, uh, some of the resources are a lot harder to get. So, because I can easily fill up 4,000 a 4,000 pound storage unit um, with how I have things on my other end. <laughs> 